what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog as you guys can tell by the title of this video this is going to be a spring reset we're also officially in the second quarter of this year which is insane so i really want to prepare myself and the things around me and put my best foot forward for this new month and new season and new quarter and i'm honestly really really excited i feel like april is going to be a really good month today is wednesday april 3rd and today is going to be a mental reset day i'm going to be spending the day in malibu today i'm going to go to the beach we're going to go eat some good food it's just going to be a fun chill relaxing day and i'm very excited because i feel like especially spring is the season to finally be outside and enjoy nature and be out in the sun and that is exactly what i'm going to be doing today and i really hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video Okay guys, it is so much later now. I got home a few hours ago. I took a body shower. I did my skincare. I put on some comfy PJs. Today was honestly such a fun day. We went to the beach to a new spot that I've never been to before. And it was so gorgeous, like just being there. I didn't get in the water because it was freezing cold, but I did a little bit of reading. I like soaked in the sun a little bit. Other than the traffic that I had to sit through, it was a perfect day. Last thing I'm gonna do today before I go to bed because I'm slowly but surely getting my sleep schedule back in order, but I'm gonna do some journaling. I have been the absolute worst with journaling lately. I swear whenever I feel like mentally I'm doing really, really well and just like everything is good, journaling is one of the first things that goes out the window for me, but I feel like sticking with habits that you know are good for you even when you're doing good is the way that it should be. Like I shouldn't wait for myself to need journaling to do it you know what i mean anyways we're getting back to journaling i'm gonna put some journal prompts on the screen while i'm journaling in case you guys want some ideas <music> give a massive thank you and shout out to Peak who is kindly sponsoring this portion of the vlog. So you guys know or maybe you don't know but I have been obsessed with everything having to do with skincare recently. I'm trying to take good care of my skin using good products using my sunscreen. So I had heard a lot about Peak. I've seen it all over my social media but something about Peak that I love is that with their products you're taking care of your skin and your health from the inside out. So basically these two products are Peak's Radiant Skin Duo. They both help you hydrate, repair, detoxify, and brighten your skin. This electrolyte is the one that I've taken every single day for a few weeks now. First of all, it tastes amazing, but most importantly, it has hyaluronic acid and ceramides, which protect your skin barrier and keeps my skin hydrated and plump. And then this one, which is their Sun Goddess Matcha, is not just any matcha, it is organic ceremonial grade matcha. Due to the alphanine that's in here, it gives you the perfect amount of energy without any of the jitters. I cannot recommend it enough. The amount of benefits that you get from just a little packet is insane. I highly recommend adding Peak products into your wellness routine. I'm gonna have a link for all the Peak products down below. If you guys click on that link, you will get 15% off plus a free frother and a cup. Thank you so, so much to Peak and let's get back to the vlog. Guys, good morning. It's Thursday for me right now, so happy Thursday. It is literally the cloudiest day today. This gloomy and like cloudy day almost ruined the day for me because I just really 
wanted it to be sunny like yesterday but i'm pretty sure april is gonna be like this the entire month like one day it's gonna be hot like next friday i just looked at the weather app it's gonna be 90 degrees so i'm not gonna let it ruin my mood or my productivity because gloomy days make me so lazy and sleepy i'm drinking my coffee for some energy i put on the comfiest crew neck i have because we are going to do some cleaning and decluttering this morning so we're gonna clean go through my closet and also my skincare there's so many products there that it's overwhelming and i don't use all of them so we're just going to give everything a refresh and a reset but while i'm cleaning and doing all of that i'm going to do a hair mask later today i want to do an everything shower so i'm going to let this hair mask sit in my hair for a few hours wow okay now that i look like a literal egg let's do some cleaning cleaned literally everything I could have possibly cleaned I cleaned now I have to do the one thing that I'm really dreading and that is to go through this mess right here so I'm gonna put an episode of modern family and hopefully I can get this all done in one episode <laughs> Going through my closet ended up taking me like 20 minutes, but I was able to fill up an entire bag of clothes that I just haven't used in a really long time. Then I went to a little coffee shop and got myself an afternoon matcha. And now I just picked up some pokey for some late lunch. I got white rice, salmon, shrimp, crab meat, cucumber, onion, crispy onion. I'm not even gonna wait till I get home. I'm just gonna eat this right now because it looks so good. I've had this hair mask for way too long now. So I'm gonna do my everything shower, wash this off. Just literally everything and everything shower includes, that's what I'm about to do.
I'm starting my Friday morning with some hot yoga. I'm literally here against my own will. Like I woke up this morning and I was like, I don't wanna do it. I haven't been to a hot yoga class in like over a month because I've been doing my co-pilot workouts at home, but I've really missed coming to these classes. So I'm trying to get back into it. But I woke up this morning and I hadn't even booked the class and I was like, maybe I should not do it just cause I'm anxious about being really, really bad, which honestly I'm always bad. Like I've done these classes enough times and I'm never like the best, but it feels really good. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it because I'm gonna feel worse if I don't go than if I do go. So against my will, I'm here. I literally forced myself to get out of bed, put on a workout outfit, grab my yoga mat, drive to this place, book the class, and now I'm gonna force myself to go in. One hour later, we're looking sweaty and gross. It was such a good class. It felt super nice. The instructor was really sweet. Every single time I do this, I feel like I sweat off any bad energy I might have, and it feels really, really good. <laughs> It's been a few hours since I talked to you guys. I went back home, I showered, I had lunch. So I was editing a video and then I pick up my phone and go on TikTok. And I swear to you in like the 20 minutes that I was scrolling on TikTok, I saw maybe like four or five TikToks of people trying this week's crumble cookie flavors. And I'm very easily influenced when it comes to food. I feel like I have to stop myself from eating this whole thing. Whatever this situation right here is, it's amazing. Okay, the last thing I wanted to do for my reset was clean and organize and restock my fridge, my little mini fridge. For the past like month and a half, it's been super unorganized and not stocked up. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store, pick up all of my favorite drinks, and then we're gonna go and stock it and organize it and just make it look presentable. Mm -hmm. 